Hello New Albany Country Club and hello to all the penguins out there. Welcome back to another Dryland video. I hope you have a cleared out space where you're gonna be working out and a bottle of water because today the four exercises we're doing today are butt kickers, side planks, toe touches, and heartbeat squats. And I'm gonna be giving you some variations for these and we might have the opportunity to use some weights for some of these exercises. If um, you're gonna be in that more challenging group, you can definitely do that. So let's get into the first exercise. All right, for this first exercise, what we're gonna be doing is butt kickers. Now this exercise is simply to get our heart rate up, get our blood flowing, so that way we're ready for each one of our other exercises. Now this one is pretty simple. You're gonna be in a relaxed position when you start. It's gonna kind of be like a, a jog, but what we're gonna be doing is when we start, we're gonna bring each one of our heels up to the back of our legs. Now, like I said, it's not quite a job, but we're bringing each one of those heels up to the back of our legs. And this exercise, like I said, is just to get us ready, getting us warm, getting that blood moving, so that way we're ready for each one of those exercises. Now, for this one, you might wanna do maybe 20 or 40 if you're going by reps, or if you have a clock, you can do 20 or 40 seconds. Um, I think that would be fine. And like I said, this one is just to get our heart rate up, get us ready for the next exercise. All right, so the next exercise we have are side planks. Now side planks are gonna be either on your right or your left arm. You're gonna be on your elbow for this one, not on our hand, we're gonna be on our elbow. And you're going to stack one foot on the other. Here in this video, you can see where I'm stacking one foot on the other. I'm trying to focus on keeping my core tight. I'm not letting my hips dip and I'm not bringing my hips too far up. I'm also not leaning forward or back. I'm trying to stay very connected while doing this plank. Like I said, this is just a normal standard side plank for this first, the, the second exercise. And for this second exercise, what we can do is if you've got a clock, we can do maybe 20 or 30 seconds for this exercise. Um, but if you wanna add a little bit of an extra challenge, what we can do is a variation of this side plank, which is called starfish side plank. And for this, you're still gonna be on your side, but what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna rotate through a cycle where we raise that leg that's on top up in the air. Now for this, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna hold 10 seconds, you can hold a 10 count, and at the end of the 10 seconds, what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna raise that leg up in the air, kind of like a starfish. Now your hand, you can either, your top hand, you can either have that on your hip or up in the air. Either way is fine but just make sure you do a really good job of raising that leg up. Also, when you raise your leg up, don't dip forward and don't dip back. Make sure you keep that core tight all the way together. Now, if you're doing the starfish exercise, what you're gonna do is rotate through that cycle maybe three times for the set, okay? And you can rotate on the right side or the left side for that exercise. And that's gonna be our side planks. So the next exercise we have is another core exercise. This one is called toe touches. Now for toe touches, what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be laying on your back and you're going to be raising your legs up in the air, trying to keep your legs straight and you're going to be looking at your hands and when you start this exercise, what you're gonna be doing is you're going to try to reach and touch your toes, kind of like a crunching fashion. The goal here is to make sure you reach up and touch your toes the best you can and really feel that in your core, but also not letting yourself lean forward or lean back. We also don't wanna bend our knees to try to shorten the distance on how far we're reach reaching for our toes. We wanna make sure we have our legs nice and straight and we're really reaching for those toes. If you wanna make this a little bit more challenging, you can. What you can do is add a weight um, and here when I'm doing the weighted toe touches, I just have a medicine ball. For the medicine ball, it's gonna be the same. The only difference is you're going to try to take that weight and touch it to your toes in a crunching fashion. Now for either one of these, you could do maybe 10 or 15. I think that's gonna be fine. 10 or 15 for our toe touches um, for this third exercise. 
So for our last exercise, what we're gonna be doing is our heartbeat squats. We're gonna make sure our legs are about shoulder width distance. We're gonna be nice and relaxed. And we're gonna go down into a squat position. Now you're gonna bend in your hips. You're gonna come down into that squat, good deep squat, maybe about 90 degrees. And for a heartbeat squat, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your hands and push away from yourself and then back in again, almost kind of like a heartbeat. You're, for this, we'll do maybe two to three heartbeats before we stand up. Um, and then the reps in total, we'll try to do five or 10. Now the harder version of this heartbeat squat is simply to add weight. So the heartbeat squat is still gonna be the same. You're still gonna have your feet shoulder width apart. You're still gonna try to get 90 degrees. The only difference is you're in your hands, what you're gonna be holding is a weight. Here I have a medicine ball. You can hold um, any kind of weight you have, but the, the squat's still gonna be sa the same. This time you're gonna bring those arms out and bring those arms in again, doing that heartbeat motion even with the weight. And for that one, we can try to do five or 10 again. So that's today's dry land workout. Now remember the four exercises we're doing are butt kickers. We're gonna do 20 or 40 of those or 20 or 30 seconds if you've got a clock. Then we got side planks and for that one you can do 20 or 30 seconds. If you're doing the starfish side plank, we can do three rotations of raising that leg up. The next exercise we have is our toe touches. For that one, we're gonna try to do 10 or 15 for that exercise. Um, it's gonna be the same if you add weight. The last exercise we have is the heartbeat squats. For that one, we're gonna do five or 10 with or without weight, depending on what uh, uh, group you're gonna be in. Um, so that's gonna be our four exercises today. I hope you have a cleared out area. Make sure you bring your partner there with you uh, to make sure you're doing proper technique while doing all of these exercises. And I'll see you in the next video.